Am I filming with an action camera or something? Because I feel funny. Ooh, that feels a lot better. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, back on your screen one more time for Power Directed University. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down part two of the Action Camera Center video to give you some Action Camera love for all of you GoPro, Replay, Sony, whatever Action Camera user you are, this is for you. Let's get into it. Here we are in Power Director 14 Ultimate, and it's time to have some Action Camera Center fun. All right, let's get started, people. There are two ways you can go ahead and bring the Action Camera Center into play. The first way is from the Media Library. If you select a clip in the Media Library, you can then click on the plug in button, and then you can select Action Camera Center. When you do that, it'll open up the Action Camera Center. You can make whatever changes that you want. And then when you click on OK, it'll actually send that clip down into the timeline and get it set up for the rest of your video project. As you can see. Ta-da! Let's move on. So the second way that you can bring the Action Camera Center into play is you can drag a video clip down into the timeline. Then you can click on Tools. And then you can click on Action Camera Center. Once again, it'll open up the Action Camera Center and you can start going about your daily business. Now, in the last video we did, we talked about the effect tab. If you want to see that video, you know, click on the link in the upper right corner of your window. But today we're going to be talking about the fix tab. So there are several options under the fix tab. The first one is lens correction. So if we select the little checkbox for lens correction, we can then click on the drop down and we have options here. So you can select the make and model of your camera. So the camera that I filmed this with was a GoPro and it was a Hero 3 Plus. And so you can see now that already all of that distortion and that uh, fisheye effect is gone. So let me click on this and I'll show you what it looked like before. And then go ahead and apply the lens correction with the GoPro Hero 3. And there you go. As you can see, there are a lot of different um, makers in here. You got JVC, HTC, Liquid Image, Panasonic, Ricoh. Uh, I don't know how to say that, but so I won't. Uh, Sony. And then for the models, of course, you got the different models. So if it doesn't have your maker listed here, then you can go ahead and you can download lens profiles from the director zone. And then once you have them downloaded, you can import those lens profiles and then they'll show up in the drop downs. So there's a bunch of different profiles out there on the director zone. And if your camera profile isn't out there, there's even a link that you can click on to make them aware of your camera so that they can try to add the lens profile for your camera. Now, you can also manually adjust the fisheye distortion on here on your own. If you don't like what it came up with, you can do that. Uh, you can also add some vignetting around the corners if you want. And then you can choose your vignette midpoint, all that good stuff. So that's all on there for a lens correction. So another option you have on here is video stabilization. Let's do that with a different clip. So I can enable it 
and then I can change the strength of the uh, video stabilization, make it less shaky. Just keep in mind as you do that, you're probably going to um, lose some of your image as you start to stabilize it more and more. As you stabilize it less, you'll get more of your image back. It's just how video stabilization works. Now you do also have the option to fix rotational camera shake and then use the enhanced stabilizer. So the enhanced stabilizer is stronger and better, but it uses more of your uh, CPU also. So just be aware of that if you decide to use the enhanced stabilizer, you might have to like um, make sure that your previews are set up with a lower resolution and things like that. Then in the fixed center, you also have the option of doing some color correction, the temperature, tint, and white balance. And then you also have the option of adding some color presets on here. And you can actually go to the color director if you have color director to edit and get more precise color correction as well. And that's it. That's how you get down in the fix tab of the Action Camera Center. All right, guys. If you like the content that I'm bringing to you, you know what to do. Click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Comment. You know I love comments like fat kids love cake. So leave me a comment. I will definitely get back with you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, subscribe. If you want to get more Power Director University goodness like this on a regular basis, you got to subscribe because if you don't subscribe, you won't know when I upload a video and you'll be missing out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.